everybody welcome to the stream hope everybody is doing well tonight i am doing good we had a little bit of rain today uh, that was nice it broke it broke the heat a little bit and um so that helped a lot actually to just um, cool the earth down a bit because it seems as if we here in South Africa is on a heat wave at the moment. I am just getting my second device ready guys for my um, to check my chat while I'm busy working with the crafts project tonight. Hi Tal, thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well. I enjoyed your stream earlier. That was really nice. Hi Olivia, thank you for being here. Or is it Olivia's mom? Thank you for being here. Hope you're both well. Yes, I'm at 121 and I'm st hopefully sticking over 120 at the moment. Oh, thank you for bringing love. I truly appreciate all the love and support and that I can get. I'm just... Wow! 317! Earlier when I checked, you were on 314. Tells, that's great. That's really, really great. You're picking up. You're picking up slowly but surely. Hi, Debbie! Hi, Diane! Thank you for being here, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I am just getting my device ready, guys. I will be with you now if the network wants to work with me. Hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for the likes, the thumbs up. Yeah, like I said earlier, to... to Colin, looking like game streaming is do doing much more um, on views and stuff like that than Awesome Grosso. <laughs> but that's okay. We're surely growing the right and correct way. Oh, you're working, Debbie, but thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. I am just quickly... Checking why haven't my other device picked up my live stream yet? But thank you guys for being here. Oh, there we go. I'm I got it. And we off. Thank you so much, guys. Everybody that's here. Like I said, I had. We had a little bit of rain this afternoon um, when I, I woke up from my nap. That is true. That is true. As long as it's organic, stuff will happen. My last live stream of Sunday night got over, I think, 60 or 70 views. I haven't checked. But, uh, yeah. Somewhere we are do, starting to do something right, Tals. Really, we are we are slowly growing our channels and um, we're doing it the right way, like Rani is teaching us how to do it. Oh no, Diane. Thunderstorms, sure. Uh, you know, I do not like thunderstorms. I have a... I freak out with thunderstorms, but luckily the weather is calm tonight so we won't have a lot of lightning and thunder in the background while we're busy with, uh, with our stream oh rain no snow that helps Debbie really that helps oh thank you Tals yes I did drop my link earlier this afternoon um but thank you for the share. I truly appreciate it. I really, really do. All the shares, all the likes. Um, 
and everybody being here. Oh no, bad wings, yeah. Um, I also have I I have a very big palm tree in the front of my house, and when the wind starts going stormy strong, I always pray that the palm tree doesn't fall over. Because if it's fall over, it's gonna fall straight onto the house. So, um, mom says to me, don't worry, it won't fall over because if it can withstand desert storms, it can withstand South African wind storms as well. <laughs> but, um, like the thumbnail said, we are going to decorate some lampshades tonight that I want to use for this, um, space that I am. It is the the uh, um, light fitting fitting shades, but I just want to cover it with a little bit of material and and just make it look nice, just so that it um, blends in with when I, I when I'm doing the backdrop and it blends in with my little with my tablecloth that you guys saw on the previous stream. That would also be great. It's gonna be. Um, Sorry, I just need a sip of water, guys. Excuse me. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do use... Um, I've already put the glue gun on so that it can get nice and hot. And then I'm going to just flip the camera around and show you guys the material what we're going to use tonight. This is what we're going to use. These are the lampshades that we are going to decorate. Like I said, it is that light. Uh, they clip in there, so I'm just... There's two of them that we're going to use to, to do tonight. Then I've got some beads here, different... Um, some black beads and some white beads that I'm going to just make like a little drop down little thing. I've got my material here. I've got ribbon. Then I've got, um, what we are going to use is the earring hoops, earring hooks, just to hook it through the material so that it can, whatever we make is going to hang down. Then I've got my long nose plier. Some little black beads also, and I was thinking of using the the wire, but then I've decided I'm gonna actually go for the elastic one. It's gonna be much easier to use the elastic one. Then my scissors and just some other decora decorations that we're going to use tonight for um like i said what we're going to use for decorating those lampshades it is like a glass lampshade but luckily when you um fit it over the the light bulb it won't heat the sh uh, the lampshade up so because it is energy saving light bulbs So, um, I am just going to move the camera around, guys, and I'm going to just reposition the camera so that you guys can see what I am doing. And just swap it around again. Hi buggies, welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream, thank you for being here. So, this is what we're going to do, let me just... It looks like I'm now getting the hang of um, getting my... my angle at the right spot here so that you guys will be able to see what I will be doing and just move this phone out of the way
Thank you, Tammy. I truly appreciate it. Hi, Lee. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining. Hope you guys are doing well. So, um, like I was saying, we're going to decorate the lampshades tonight. Um, let me just a little bit move it so that you guys will be able to see what I am doing. Hello, Colin. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> Hi, Ash. Thank you for being here. Oh, Colin, you and my name. I'm just laughing at you, meneer. Mr. Little Colin. Um, I... <laughs> details. So, guys, what we're first going to do is we're going to take our material. It's got a little zebra print on it. It looks like zebra skin. This is what we're going to use. We're firstly going to cover the shade with the material. And then we will do the rest of the decorations. But what you're going to have to do here is, you're going to have to cut it in strips. <laughs> I really hope everybody is doing good everybody had a great day even though the week just started for me work was a little bit busy but when is it not busy so what we're now going to do is we're just gonna I just want to cut some strips so that I don't have to struggle with a lot of creases when you when you cover it I just want to check something guys no be before planning or anything I am doing it now as we are going along so what i can do is i can cut this strip quickly in half like in the length of it like that it is now yes it is a nice print um i had this little piece of material for a long time i actually wanted to make a scatter cushion out of it and then i've decided now i'm gonna use it to cover my lamp lampshades because Previous live stream, I think it was not to, this one, the previous one, when we were talking about the backdrop. DB Punisher actually gave me, a, actually mentioned something about why are you not painting your backdrop. So, we are going to paint our backdrop. So, that yellow material will now be used as curtains for my spare room. I am going to go and buy new material for my backdrop and use it to paint different little arts and crafts and cooking and baking stuff on it. So what I'm just doing is I'm just cutting the material quickly before we start. I just, I'm just lifting it up a little bit, I don't want to cut my, my cloth here, my nice little inspirational cloth here, it's got nice Afrikaans inspirational little quotes on it, which is nice.
Yeah, Easter is also on its way. Um, I will be planning to do something for Easter as well, like I did for Christmas. Some, um, maybe some Easter decorations or something like that. Um, we will we will see the closer we get to Easter what uh, we will be doing. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Yeah, unfortunately, I live on the other side of the world. It is a little bit of a problem at this stage and it is costing a lot to post stuff um, I did go and find out at the post office what the parcel to England and America is going to cost it's a lot of money okay so I've got this one strip now here Oh, thank you, Tails. So what we're now going to do is we're just going to... It doesn't matter if it goes over there because I will be... No, it must come... I have to cut it a little... No, we will we will work with it. Don't worry. We'll cut it off here at the, at the bottom. I just want to... Cut this part, little little piece off here. Because that is not very straight. I am just planning quickly, guys. Because you need to now check the length of the, the width of your strips. Because if you just take it like this, it's going to bubble. It, you don't just want to do it like this. It's going to bubble. As you can see, it will bubble. And we don't want bubbles. We want it nice and smooth. Otherwise we must make it do it in two parts. And then use white ribbon in the center. Um, I use these glue sticks. Just the plain transparent one. I know you get your glitters and all those, but I just use this small. It's a, it's a, it's a small size because you get two different sizes of glue sticks. You get the one for industrial glue guns, like the big glue guns. And then I've got my small little... Heli glue gun, yeah? Which is very old. And no, Tammy, I don't have a brand. I buy where I get the cheapest ones because these, for, for 10 little sticks, I paid over 50 bucks here in South Africa for 10 of these sticks. So I go to the little um, Chinese shops and stuff like that and I go buy it from there. Okay, Diane, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Take care. Hi, DB. Thank you for being here. Hope you're doing well. Oh, <laughs> that was... That would... If I can get it in South Africa, that would be great. Believe me. If I can get the stuff in South Africa without having to pay too much... Um, Packaging or packaging fee, I would love to get the stuff in South Africa. Oh, thank you, Tells. I would appreciate that. 
I really would. You know how to reach me and we can talk about it. And guys, you won't believe it. It's been two months since I've won the runny egg calendar on the 19th of December. And it still haven't, I still haven't gotten it. Our post office is useless. I'm still waiting for my calendar. I have been at the post office and they said, no, nothing is here yet. Or, um, so I'm not sure if my calendar is at customs or where it is, but I will let Sue and Ronnie know that I haven't received my calendar yet. Oh, it's okay, DB. Thank you for dropping in and dropping a like. I hope you don't work too hard. That's all good, Dels. <laughs> yeah, global packaging. Oh, Tammy, diaper duty. Oh, no, that's not nice. Yeah, I know. The, the postal, the global packaging is slow at the moment with this big thing going on and borders not being opened and this and that so what we're now going to do guys is we're going to start decorating our little lampshades because I have now been talking and totally forgetting what I was supposed to do <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut a strip like this we we'll have to cut it in. You'll have to do it in in sections, unfortunately. I'm going to start at the bottom first. And then we will work the top part. Because what I want with this is, I just want the light to be a little bit not as bright as it is at the moment. I really just want it a little bit not in my face also. Because at the stage I'm sitting almost at the at other angle. So... This is just what I want to, this is the basic idea what I want to do guys, is just to, to cover it. But like I said, I don't want wrinkles. But unfortunately we will get wrinkles. But that, that also doesn't matter. It's giving it character. TB, I hope work won't be too bad for you. I hope it won't be a too long shift. So, guys, let's start here. I'm just going to drop the glue on the bottom here. Bit by bit, so that we can just stick our little piece of cloth there I hope you guys can see what I'm doing I'll cut it off at the top I just want a little room to show oh, you know I don't think the material is going to work. Nope, the material is not going to work, guys. We have to do plan B. Because I am... Seriously having an issue here now. Mm. 
Nope, it's not going to work. I tried. I was actually supposed to check it before I started the live stream. But that's not a problem. We will go to plan B. Oh no! <laughs> it's a long shift. It's like, it's long shifts. I know what night shift is about, guys. I had done it before. It's not le It's not nice. It's really, really not nice to work such long, long hours. But we're gonna go just... Because I want to decorate the lampshades. I want to decorate them. And <laughs> you need to pay off a new car. No wonder you're working so hard and only have weekends to stream. <laughs> I'll make it work. Believe me, I'll make it work. Even if we just put one little strap. Yeah, I am going to do that. I've decided I am changing it. Let's go. Do some more cutting. Because I want it to look nice. I want my corner to start looking like something. And not just um, a plain little space i really want it to start looking nice so what i'm doing now is i'm just cutting two little pieces of cloth so i now cut it too short and then um okay Oh, let me just level this quickly. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, um, I was like two minutes late with the stream tonight, guys. I do apologize for that, but like I said, mom's watching TV and she we are up until 8 p.m. at night, so then I actually need to schedule my streams for just five minutes later. So we will we will definitely cut off the extra piece. I'm just making it longer so that I know it's fitting. Like Colin always say, guys, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do the bot, Just half of it. Yeah. We, then I won't have bubbles. Because I do want to use this. Thank you for who is still here. Who is still watching. I do appreciate it. I really am. I know I've been a little bit confused and not knowing what I was doing, but now I do. I figured it out. But that's the thing with arts and crafts. You always can figure it out and go with the flow. You go with the flow. You don't always have to have a plan you can it's always such a thing as a backup there is my idea i'm just gonna do and then yeah i'm just gonna put white ribbon on so i am Getting there, my idea is starting to take shape. I'm 
I'm just placing some glue every here and there just to stick it. Just fold it over. Place it there. This is the idea that I'm having, guys, and then just take it all the way around. Because this would be the back side, so you going to just take it level or just overlap it just a small little bit and then we're gonna cut off the the excess. Stay safe, DB. Enjoy your shift. I will see you next time. Take care, my friend. Don't work too hard. So what we're now going to do is we're just going to take off or cut off this little excess piece here, just next to the, to the glue. Like that. It's looking like that now. I'm just I'm gonna finish up one at a time. So this is basically the idea now is this. It's looking like this now, like I said. So now what we're going to do, what did I do with the white ribbon? Here's the white ribbon. Um, let me just get my lighter quickly because you guys know with the ribbon you have to, when you cut it, you just have to burn the, just touch the, the edge quickly. Otherwise it's going to make little things, things going to come out. So what you're going to do is you're just going to just Slightly like that, just to prevent it from going out. What we're now going to do is we're just going to place the ribbon a little bit over the material and a little bit on the lampshade it itself. So it just makes a little border. Um, just want to measure it. Okay. 
that's going to be the idea with the ribbon as well. I'm just going to place it like that. So just a little higher up so that you see the ribbon better. This is what we're now going to do. We're going to stick the ribbon. I must just be careful not to burn myself because that won't be nice. And then we're just going to take it all the way around. If we can just get it the right way. Level with the other one. Just, I'm just using the scissors just to press it down because the glue is a little hot. I don't want to burn myself. Oh, thank you, Tolt. No, it's, it's all good, my friend. All good. Do your stuff. You need to do what you need to do. You can listen in the background. But if you are busy and you need to be busy, go and do what you need to do. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. So, this is the idea now. What we have here is like this. want to check if it's yeah it is level I will show you guys on the other stream on Thursday night how they are looking on hi James thank you for being here thank you for joining I hope you're doing well so this is the one so far So the reason why I said we're going to use the little earring hooks is we're going to hook it Yeah, let me show you guys. You're going to take the little, you're going to do your decoration and then you're going to just hook it through the material. Eh. And then it's going to hang down. If I can get it to go through, that was my intention, my idea. There we go. Who said you can't use an earring hook for doing decorations? But it's not going to work. So, but what we will be doing is we will be just doing the material and the ribbon first on both of them. And then we will do Hi Ronnie, thank you so so much for the like and the share. Hope you have a great shift. Hope it's not too busy. But thank you so much for the like and the share. I do appreciate it very very much. So now we're just going to do the same with the second little lampshade. Put the material and the ribbon on.
I really appreciate everybody popping in, um, leaving a like, leaving a share, showing some love. That means a lot. Thank you guys so, so much. Everyone who is um, still here watching. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Really, I do. Uh, my channel is, is growing slowly, but surely it's growing the correct way. Um, I'm on 121 subscribers right now. Thank you so much for everyone who is subscribed to my channel. For those of you who are not subscribed to my channel and you like the, the and you like seeing the content that you are seeing, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment related to a video that you watch. Nowadays, um, YouTube says 30 seconds, but my opinion is 30 seconds is not long enough for you to decide. Do you want to watch, do you want to subscribe to a channel or not? But that's my personal opinion. But yeah, 30 seconds. I normally, um, when I um, check out channels, I will um, put a video on, a, on my watch later list. Then I will go watch the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Do it on the on the correct way, and then you will be certain that your subscription will stick to um, that channel and not be taken away. Because we want to do it or in the correct way, and um, we don't want it uh, want to do it the incorrect way, because otherwise you're not gonna. Then your numbers will keep on dropping and picking up and dropping and picking up, and then it's gonna be like you on a boat on the ocean, gonna get seasick. But yeah, um, like I said. I like to do it the correct way and that's the best way to do it actually so we're almost done with this one I just got this little last little piece here to do for this one's material and then we're gonna quickly do the little ribbon And then we're just going to cut the ex excess piece of material off, like I said, just next to the hot glue there. You lift it up, you will see. It just wants to stand still and not move around. There we go. But like I said, I will show you guys once I have put them up what they do look like. Because the problem with these light fittings is you have to take the bulbs out first before you put the shade back. Then it's got two little pins on top that you have to put your hand in and press them and then you can put the bulb back in after you've put your um, shade back on so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly do this one's ribbon as well
just exactly the same as the other one and then we will do the rest of the decorations You can, there is so many things that you can do, arts and crafts related. Um, just use a little bit of imagination and you can really, really make anything out of anything. You can use the recycled materials. You can really, really, there's so many things that you can do for arts and crafts. And imagination is the key here. Just like when you do a thumbnail for your channel, like Rani mentioned, use your imagination. Um, improve on your thumbnails. Improve on your content. Fringe. Oh, you mean those little, um, Tammy, please explain what do you mean by fringe. Oh, when you, when you, when you cut this in, when you cut it like in little, little strips here like you cut it here and you put it at the bottom and it hang yeah it can work that can actually work i didn't think of that but we can still do it i think so I know what you mean. Oh, Goodwill. Yes, I've heard of that shop before in America. It's like a charity place or something, if I'm correct. I do remember what fringe is now. Okay, so this is how the two shirts now look so far. We've put the material up, we've put the ribbon up. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to quickly do the... The decorations. I want this up on top here. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope, not going to work. I'm sorry guys, my um my mind's just not on the right space tonight. I do apologize for that. Um, I had a very busy day at work today and um, I am a little bit out of it. So what we're now going to do is I'm just deciding guys what I'm going to do now, if I'm going to put um, some oh, 
some decorations on. I'm just deciding what because I can't. That's the thing with arts and crafts. Your mind, if you start with a project, your mind starts racing. And you've got so many ideas that you want to do, but to implement them and put them together is like um, a little bit of a challenge for me at this stage. Because I've got so many ideas, but I actually need to... Hi, Neil. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well. I really hope you're doing well. I appreciate you stopping by. So like I said, um, I actually struck a blank, guys. I struck a blank. But what I will be doing is I am going to the shops on Friday. I will go and buy some, I have to go and um, fill up some arts and craft supplies and um, I have a few little, I've got a little list with arts and craft supplies that I need to fill up so I will be going and, and, and getting those as well so that we can actually um, do something better but what I what I want to do is I want to just take this gold and just yeah where this where the material and the ribbon is coming together the idea is to have something that hangs but it's not gonna work it's not gonna look nice No, the gold is not working with the black and the white. Okay, leave that. Leave that, leave that, leave that. What I will be doing is I've got these white, not that brown one, but these. Give me one moment, guys. Am I back live? Hi, Stock Explorer. How are you doing? Am I back live, guys? Please let me know. <coughs> it looks like we are back. So I'm... Just con um, network just disconnected for a moment there, guys. Thank you. I'm rolling again. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now, I was just um, afraid that we lost the stream. Neil, where are you from that it's so, so cold? Uh -uh. That's cold. That's really, really cold. Okay, what we're now going to do is we are just going to make um, some little decorations for the, for the guys who are coming in just now. We decorated two lampshades with a little piece of material and a little piece of ribbon that are going to come up here where my corner is. Where my, and now what I'm going to do is I am just going to make the decorations or something that one is making a bubble but that's not a problem hi Gemma good to see you yes dog um the nature tour we will do like I said um March 
middle march to end march and then um i will be taking you guys or i will be doing a video on um welcome back diane <laughs> yes i'm getting my zebra on hope everyone is doing fine but like i was saying i will do a video on the night on the on the on the game drive um i won't be able to go live on that one because i will be in the vehicle with my mom and my ex-father-in-law and my ex-mother-in-law they are gonna come and visit me for two months so we will be doing a game drive if I go live, you guys will only hear Afrikaans language and no English language and then it's not going to be nice. You won't understand what we're talking about. So I was thinking on doing a, a, a game drive and just video it and just showing you guys all the animals. <laughs> I will have to ask them if they want if they want to be on camera. I will have to ask them if they want to be on camera. My mom won't have a problem with being on camera, but I don't know if the if my um, ex father in law and my ex mother in law. Well, I still consider them my father in law and my mother in law. Uh, I love those two people very very much. Um, it's not their fault that my marriage with their son didn't work out. Diane, it is now baby time here in the reserve. I know you are, Stock. And there is lots and lots of baby animals now here in the reserve. Baby rhinos. Um, they are the cutest little things. Um, the little, little rhinos has, and the little zebras and... There's a lot of baby animals now, actually, and then just after winter time, also uh, a lot of baby animals. I know that, and that's why I said it's not their fault, it's their son's fault. But yeah, they are coming to visit me for two months. And then we will do the game drive or what. Um, but I am planning on doing going live when we are at the picnic area. Just doing a quick pop-up live maybe. And just show you guys what um, that side as well. The, the night. But it's not a problem. I can still... The only thing with the live stream is we won't be able to get out of the vehicle. There's only designated areas where we are allowed to get out of our vehicles if we drive around for the animals. But I can do the video. That would be great because I can always mute the, the, uh, the language and just replace it with some nice non-copyrighted music and just take you guys along the journey or i can do a voice over in english yes we are allowed to roll the windows down but not fully um only a little bit because we do have the cheetahs in the reserve and um they prefer that we um just like have your windows not even halfway down, but I can always sit in the front and do it through the windshield. Hi, Matthew. Thank you for joining. <laughs> you want to hear it? Are you going to use Google Translate? Um, stock to translate from afrikaans to english <laughs> so guys what i'm just doing here is i'm just putting some beats in here i'm just playing actually i 
because what I want to do is I want to use it to on the little lampshades for decoration. So while I'm talking to you guys, I am just putting beads into the elastic little um, wire uh, elastic here. Now, um, yeah, I'm talking about the nature, um, the dam is, the uh, water level dropped a lot, so it's not overflowing that strongly at the moment, because the past two weeks, we actually had like a mini heat wave here. Today is like 86 degrees Fahrenheit again It's like 50, 51 degrees Celsius, it's, it's actually hot So what I am doing here is I'm just putting the beads through the little elastic wire here and then we will use that as decorations <laughs> whoopee whoop sorry I almost used a swear word. Sorry about that one, guys. But I dropped my little beads here. Yeah? I can just take that one and that one out because I'm not going to use them. We do it like this. I can call you Tani. <laughs> you can call me Tani. Matthew, you also from South Africa. Yeah, you can't for me say Tani. Depends on how old you are. <laughs> oh yeah, Matthew is our fellow South African from the Free State. Yeah, I'm double your age. <laughs> I'm double your age. My mom always, we were brought up, anybody 10 years older than you is uncle and aunt. And you show respect. That's why he said he can call me auntie. <laughs> because he is younger than me. So, this is... That's nice, Neil. That is nice. Guys, my aunt is hitting 84 tomorrow. She will be 84 tomorrow. She's been just released from hospital. Um, she was in hospital um, for a few days. And they had to run some tests and stuff. But she is turning 84 tomorrow. Mom turned 78 last week and Thursday on the 17th. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm going quiet, guys. I'm just concentrating. I'm turning 47 in July. 
I can still remember like yesterday when I was still young and running around on the farm playing the dirt making mud cakes and stuff like that now I'm all grown up and getting old I'm struggling here guys, my eyes don't want to find the little hole there, I am just having an issue here, to see what I'm doing, Holes, this little hole is a little small, so you have to actually, that's my idea, I just want to put this the beads here on the top here, that is the idea to put the beads let me hold it like that and show you guys that's the idea, I just want to put the beads on top there <laughs> my brother did that to me, um, Diane, he shoved them in my mouth, he said to me, you make them, you eat them. Because he's not going to eat my mud cakes, because it was not just mud that was in it. <laughs> it was all sorts of stuff, like worms, and we were just, when you're a kid, you don't mind. That built your immune system. Today's kids doesn't know what it is to play outside and be a child anymore. I'm honest with you guys on that one. They just want to sit in front of the computer or the PC the whole day. Oh, I mean the computer or the games the whole day. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten it. Make a little knot and just tighten it. So that it doesn't come loose. And then we're gonna just um, there we go. Make sure it's nice and tight so that it doesn't go loose. There we go. And then we just cut that ex extra little piece off there. <laughs> Hi Claire, thank you for being here, thank you for joining. Yes, worms are good protein. They are nice. Mupani worms. The people in South Africa eat Mupani worms. I do not eat Mupani worms. So, thank you. There is our one finished, and it's easy. Whoopee. I will be using a little glue just to keep it in place. Just a spot here and a spot there. But that is what we are doing now. I'm just going to put two spots of glue quickly on, or four. Then you're going to just take your uncle there we go here we have it guys as easy as that that one is done 
I'm not going to put too much detail on it because it will be hanging in the air. So let's quickly do the other one. Yes, Claire, you do see you do see zebra print. I've used it, I've used some zebra cloth, printed cloth, to just decorate my lampshades. Yeah, I think we all miss our young days and just being kids and um, just enjoy life and didn't have a worry in the world. And as soon as um, the street light comes on, you know, it's now time to go home or your bum's going to burn. We played cricket in the streets and in front of the house and all that we were just kids playing on the train tracks um, riding your bike all over the place swimming the dam swimming the river <laughs> or you go horse riding, you fall off your horse and you break your arm. It's all part of growing up and being a kid and just having fun, enjoying life. Now we adults, we're having serious jobs, um, long hours work and all that for some of us. Some of us have an office job nine to five jobs some of us have shifts that we work and life is just going by so fast oh my baby decided to come say hello to mommy hello my lovey you want to say hi to the people you want to say hi to youtube come, come say hi Say hi to the people. Quickly come say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Hold on. Let's quickly say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Say hello. Say hi YouTube. My name is Brody. Hi everybody. Hi mommy. Here's mommy's baby. Here's mommy's baby. Say hi to the people, my papa. Mm, he wants a little attention. Yeah, he, he, he knows that this time of night actually is um, mom's on bed and, and, and we're just chilling. But let's quickly finish our project up. Yes, he is so adorable. Come sit with mommy. You want to sit with me? You want to sit with mommy? Oh, okay. you can sit with mommy, okay? That is it. That is it, my baby. Oh, he wants a little attention, Momo. You want attention? Hello. <laughs> Auntie Claire says hello, Brody. Auntie Claire says hello. She's giving you a wave. And Auntie. Auntie Diane says you're very adorable. <laughs> and Nora also says you're very adorable. I can't roller skate. I can't ice skate. I do not have balance for that. I cannot even drive. Road a bicycle. Ah, he is a mixed breed. Nora, he's a mixed breed. He's got some Chihuahua in him, and he's got some 
I'm not sure what breed he is. He is a mixed breed. Hey, mommy. What is it, my baby? I know what he wants. He wants ear scratches. He wants his ear scratches. But mommy, go and scratch your ears now, my baby. I have to. <laughs> definitely, Diane, definitely. <laughs> mommy, quickly want to finish up here. Can mommy finish up? You're going to jump off? You're going to sit on my lap? Are you going to work? What? Are you going to sit on my lap? Gonna sit on mommy's lap. Oh yeah. Oh guys, I've got. I think we've got a problem. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish up because he wants attention, and um, he is just now sitting where he's sitting. Hold on. <laughs> What is it? Yes, he I have a little bit of I think pug in him and a little bit of chihuahua and I do not know what else. Um, he was three weeks old when I got him from my sister. I never thought he's gonna make it. He was so so small actually. I'm serious, guys. I do not know what breed my dog is. Like my mom says, he's a dog of uncertain heritage. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, he is just adorable. He's just his mom's baby. Um, his birthday is the day before mine. Then he will be... Four years old, and he's just, he's my baby, and then I've got the big one outside as well, um, she is nine years old, but she's getting old now, she really is getting old, she doesn't, she can't almost walk anymore, and all that, so, um, no, she's really getting old. It can be, Neil. Um, I'm not sure, but I know. I can't see Chihuahua in him. My sister says, yeah, Chihuahua in him. I can't see it. I don't know. But definitely Pug. He's definitely got pug in him, that I know. What is it, my baby? Hey, are you doing arts and crafts with mommy? Are you doing arts and crafts with mommy? Are you doing arts and crafts with mommy? We're almost done, my baby. Yeah, we're almost done. You want to go outside? Must mommy go open the door quickly? Guys, I think we're gonna um, call it a night. Um, he is getting restless and um, I will be finishing up these little... Um... Thank you for being here, Matthew. Now I'm also gonna go and, and end the stream. I will be... Um, Showing you guys on Thursday stream the um, the finished project pro product project and um, when I have placed the shades up. So it's only this little bead part that I still need to finish up, but um, Rani will be live I think tonight at nine thirty. It's about in 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 about five minutes time, but. Hi, Bull. Thank you for being here. Yes, he is. Have a good night, everybody. 
I will see you Thursday night at 8 p.m. South African time, 6 p.m. UK time and 2 p.m. Eastern US time. Have a good night, everybody. Um, thank you for being here. Sorry I have to cut the stream short, but um, he is getting rest restless and he wants attention and... Um, I will be um, showing you guys on Thursday the the where, when I put the shades up, like I said. But thank you for being here, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Good night. Take care. Bye. Come. Come, let mommy go open the door for you. Come.